All right, guys, here in Veritas, back with another video for you today. Today's video is going to be something that excites me to no end. I am so excited about this video because I finally get to compare this bag. This is called Squatch the Legend or Squatch Legend, some people are calling it bag and it is their first bag on the market and it is a really big bag and i believe this bag is made to compete with this bag which is uh, made by pound and it is a pound octohall the reason why i say that is because later on in the video i'll go over the disc capacities and basically just loading capacity um, from the, the legend compared to the Octo Hall. So moving forward on this video, I'm going to call this the Octo Hall. I'm gonna call this the legend because saying the whole entire name is just too long. There's a lot of things to go over. I've done a comparison with the Octo Hall with the Octo Thorpe within the pound lineup, but this is the first video where I do two competitive bags against one another. And this needs to be done because I think from a consumer standpoint, it is important to have as much information as possible before deciding on which product to buy. Also, today is uh, Black Friday, and I figured I would tr try to get this video out as quick as possible for those of you who are trying to shop for, uh, for Christmas presents for disc golfers in your family. So your spouses, your significant others, your girlfriend, boyfriend, your kids, whoever. Um, I just want to get this video out so that you guys can make a decision, especially that this bag just got released and it is now in stock at their website. So you have options to purchase. Let's dive into the video and let's start comparing these two bad boys. First thing we're going to do is we're going to take the weight of this bag. We're going to take the weight of both bags so you guys can see how much they weigh. They are both empty. The Octa Hall does not have a rain fly in it. I do have an Oct and a rain fly for it, but I do not have it in it because the way the bag comes shipped is without a, a, a rain fly and the legend comes without a rain fly. Again, the legend is made by Squatch, for those of you who don't know, and the actor hall is made by Pound. So let's go ahead and turn the scale on and we're going to weigh the legend first. The legend weighs in at 3.7 pounds. Their website advertises 3.5 pounds, so that is close enough. 0.2 pounds off. Now we're going to do the actor hull. The Octo Hall weighs in at 4.2 pounds, so slightly heavier than the Legend. I'm using the same exact scale, same exact setting, everything in the same office, so 0.5 pounds heavier than the Legend itself. All right, so let's start um, with Octo Hall since I've had this the longest. I'll go over it really, really quick, and then we'll go to the Legend. So at the front of the bag, we have a putter pouch up here, putter pouch up here, the same. We got the logo right here. This logo is a patch that's sewn on. And um, the, I'll go over the major differences a little bit later in the video, but we're just gonna go over really quick what the differences are in terms of phys uh, physical. The patch is sewn on here. The, uh, this patch is uh, sewn on as well, but it's a, a texture um, rubberized material versus this, which is more of a Cordura material. Uh, of note, the pound logo on the, uh, on the, on the actual hall is customizable. There's different color options, whereas this, you don't get a color option. It just comes with this. As a matter of fact, the whole entire bag by pound is customizable. Anywhere from the zipper poles to the zipper colors to the logo to the top part of the bag and the bottom of the part of the bag. That's why this bag is a two color combination, whereas this bag is kind of a one color with an orange accent. And right now, Squatch only has two colors, green and orange. It's like a forest green and orange. And then this is charcoal and salmon, but in person, it looks more like charcoal and um, and orange than salmon. Uh, moving down from there, we have the main flap, just like uh, just like Moe's backpack uh, setup, so we got the main flap here. This flap right here on top, you can fit a whole entire disc in there or scorecards on the Legend. On the um, on the pound bag here, the um, does not have a pouch, but uh, pound does give you the option uh, for an extra. $20, I believe you can add a pouch with a zipper here. So it's a high it's a higher premium pouch because it does have a zipper whereas this does not have a zipper. So that's an additional cost on this bag again because it's so customizable that not everybody wants this pouch right here whereas the the legend just comes with it whether you like it or not. So that's the difference right there. Um, now of note since we're here I just want to show you really quick that 
The opening on the hall, octa hall, is I believe slightly smaller and we're gonna measure it right now just to show you. Okay? So I'm gonna measure outside the zipper to the outside of the other zipper uh, just to make things easier. I'm not an engineer, so this is, uh, so this is eight and three quarter inches wide. We're gonna measure the legend, same thing, zipper to zipper, and this is 10 and a quarter inches wide. So it's almost two inches um, wider than the actual hull in terms of opening uh, width. So about an inch and a half, I wanna say. Uh, you guys can do the math, but basically you're, you're talking about an inch difference minimum in terms of opening space from the legend compared to the actual hull. Um, the other thing is that the Octo Hall has got some cosmetics things like the straps, compression straps here that the Legend does not have. It also has this elasticated cinch, um, elasticated cinch cable here up front that you can put your um, stool and your umbrella up here. Uh, the Octo, uh, the Legend does not have that over here. So that's the front of the bag. We're gonna move to the side of the bag here. So. Um, the side of the legend, the, the each side is slightly different compared to the Octa Hall. It's more um, symmetrical, but there is a slight difference on the hall as well, and I'll go over that as soon as we open these up. So starting from the top here, we got a zipper pocket pouch right up here, and then we have this, which this is one of my favorite things about pound bags, is that it's got this accordion stretch fabric here, and what that does is that when you're not stuffing it with stuff, uh, with a lot of stuff, then this folds down and it's flat and it's a nice look once it's not being used to its full potential. But once you stuff it out, the accordion um, fabric here allows for a little bit of room to kind of bulge out to help accommodate um, whatever stuff you put in there. So I think that's a really nice touch and you, you don't really get that on the Legend. But again, we're talking like half the price, the Legend here versus the Octa Hall. And I'll go over pricing at the end in a minute. Um, the Legend does have a pouch right up here. It's the length of the pocket. Um, it's got a magnetic closure with a little bit of a, a strap um, holder here, which, or a strap pull right here, which I think is a really nice touch. And the magnetic closure, I think is a nice touch. I love magnetic closures. I use other equipment in other aspects of my life and magnetic closures are pretty awesome. Um, the magnetic, magnetic closure runs almost the whole length of the flap and the inside of the flap you got the Squatch logo which I think is also a nice touch. This is meant for your phone. My phone does not fit in it so it depends on what phone you have. I have a Samsung S21 Ultra with a Spingen um, case and it does not fit in it which I'm okay with. Most people are not okay with that because they, you know, this pocket's kind of not deep enough is shallow so it's meant for the phone to, to like slide in sideways and my phone doesn't do that it doesn't really fit so i use it for other things so those are the top side pockets moving now from there you got the big big these are called hull pockets and uh legend just calls them a side pocket um and just of note um the materials on these bags are the top cordura for the actor hall is usually 500 D Cordura and then anything on the bottom is 1000 D Cordura. That is the same on the legend. The legend, any top material that's not going to touch um, the ground or be of, uh, be of prone to wear and tear, is going to be 500 D Cordura on top and then the bottom is 1000 D Cordura but it's all in the same colorway. Whereas the hall, you can choose different colorways. And sometimes even the colorway on top is gonna be a uh, more sturdy Cordura. But this particular hall, the top is 500D Cordura and then the bottom is 1000D Cordura. So that's just of note right there. So they are similar in that aspect. There is one slight difference with the Octa Hall uh, pocket is that this flap at the top right here has a snap button. That snap button holds it down like so. And then inside the pocket has another snap right here and you snap the buttons together. And what that does is that within the flap itself, it holds the big flap that's covering the pocket because that snap button's holding it down. So when you're taking things in and out like this, like such as discs, it's not going to cause this, this upper flap with the button on it to go up and down, which I actually love that feature. On the side of the... Um, Legend, um, this pocket 
it doesn't have that button, which is okay. Um, but what it does have is a an insulated cooler. And when I say cooler, I mean it's a cooler. You open the cooler like so. We're going to go ahead and turn it around. Open the cooler. It's got a Squatch logo on top, but it's actually a cooler that you can actually put ice in and cold drinks in. And that fits right in here. And I believe the reason why these pockets are a little bit taller than the hall is because to accommodate this cooler. However, this pocket's taller, but it's not as wide. And let me go ahead and take a ruler and show that to you. So from here, we're gonna turn around. From here to the edge here, we're looking at three and a half inches. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the legend. This is two and two and three quarters. It's almost three inches, but it's not three and a half inches like the hall. So there is a slight difference in terms of width of each one of these pockets. However, this pocket is taller. So for example, if I do this, we're looking at six and a quarter inches tall. Whereas this pocket, I have to raise my ruler a little bit more. This pocket is eight and a half inches tall. So six and a quarter and then eight and a half. I'm gonna call it eight and a quarter just so that it's two inches. There's a two inch difference in terms of, uh, of height, but it's not as wide compared to this one. So in the end, I think it still accommodates for the same amount of stuff. It's just what kind of stuff can you put in there depending on the height and the width of it. All right, so, um, so that's this pocket on this side, and this cooler does come with the bag, um, the insulated cooler itself. So we're gonna go ahead and zip that back up so that it's not flopping around while I'm doing the rest of this comparison here. All right, and then moving to the back, oh, let me go ahead and go on the inside of this so you can guys can see. So the pockets inside, we're just gonna open this up like this. And here's one of the cool things about the Octo Hall. Inside this interior, you can choose the interior lining color. You can't do that with this bag, okay? Uh, the Octo Hall itself, inside the flap, where this zipper is on the outside, there's another clamshell pocket that is built in. And these are high quality liner material. And the stitching on the hall is phenomenal. They put little accents in here for each part of the liner. Then inside the hall here, there's other little pockets that are sectioned off. So you can put your pencils in here. This elastication is to hold your umbrella. So your umbrella kind of sticks out like this. The zipper does not go all the way to the bottom of the bag. Uh, I'm sorry, at the bottom of the pocket like the Legend does. It doesn't go all the way to the bottom of the bag, but it goes a little bit farther than, uh, than how it does on the Octo Hall. Inside of the Legend pocket, there is also another inside pocket, but you don't see that little bit of accent here. There's still stitching to hold it, to hold this liner down so that it doesn't fray. But like you can see here, it's got the little bit of accents here and so does it right here on the pencil pocket. It's got the little accents here. You don't have that with the Legend. It's just, you know, sewn down so that it's nice and smooth, but that's it. But there's no little black accents like you have on the hall. So those are little differences that I noticed. And then, um, so the pocket, there's still a pocket in the flap, just like the hall. Then you got the pencil pockets here, just like the hall. And on this side, they do have a little bit of an accent here, which is nice. It's a nice touch right there. Uh, the pocket does run the whole length of the back, just like the octo hall. So they're similar in that aspect. Moving to the back of the bag. So the back of the bag, there's a lot going on here. Um, first thing you notice is that it's got this huge hall loop. It's basically a strap, and I believe Pound says that this is a seat belt strap that's folded into uh, folded into one another and sewn on here. Um, whereas um, this, this is just they uh, they just said it's like a nylon material that gets sewn on. The one thing I do notice about the legend is that which wh whichever accent you got, that's the accent stitching that they use on the strap itself. And I think that's a really nice touch, but it's a black strap and it is a good size haul loop, just like um, the haul, um, just like the Octo haul. Octo haul might be a little bit taller. For those of you who are detailed, I'm gonna go ahead and measure it. It's four inches tall. This one 
is about three and a half inches. So you're about a half inch difference, maybe a quarter to half inch difference in terms of how much loop stands up. All right. Um, the straps themselves, the legend itself, it's got this 500D Cordura material running all along the, uh, um, the padding here. It's got a really thick padding. Um, this has a thick padding too. They're, both the padding are very, very thick. The hull itself, the whole strap runs on the side here, but the new uh, pound customization program does not include the matching color of the straps on top with what you have on top of the bag. They all, all now either come only tan, black, or gray, and this whole entire thing is tan, black, or gray. So the legend is still kind of matching that fabric with the upper fabric of the bag itself. So there's that difference right there. And then you got the mesh right here. You got the mesh running from top to all the way bottom. There's a little bit of a cutout right here, so it's actually very similar um, on the hull itself. Dr. Hall, it has a, um, a padding in the back of the bag, uh, the back here, and so does the Legend itself. So they actually feel very, very similar. As far as the pilling effect goes, I don't know if this is going to cause any pilling. I've only used it for a couple rounds, so I would imagine that it might cause pilling in the future, but it's hard to tell because I've used these, this particular material before and I've never had pilling with it. Whereas the hull, there is pilling effect happening. You can see some of my shirts um, have now got caught onto it. That's why it's got the red pilling on it right there. The main difference between these two bags is that these straps are removable and they have the compression, um, compression straps right up here. So these can be taken off. So it's got snap buttons right here as you can see and this can just snap off and then you can put a new strap on so the pound bag's more of like a long-term proof a future proof i want to say that if the straps go you can go ahead and get new straps so i think that's a nice feature um, the other thing that the hull has is got this d-ring loop at the top right here that you can hook your towels to that's what i do with this bag is i hook my towels up to one of these d-rings and then it's got a sternum strap and then you got the little subtle pound logo right there as far as the legend goes, there is a sternum strap. There is a little bit of a squatch logo right there. It's just a little tag. However, there are no D-rings up here. The D-rings are down here, which is hard to put a towel uh, loop here because it's just going to drag on the ground. So I think a D-ring up here would be fine. So that's the difference that I noticed there. I think the D-rings placement on the hall is a little bit better than the legend. The other thing is that the legend straps are not removable. They are sewn on for good. So if these straps go, you're going to have to um, try to get it replaced. Squash does have a lifetime warranty at the moment with the, all their bags. So you can try to give them a call and get them replaced. Um, but that's kind of a pain because you won't have a bag while this is getting replaced. Whereas this, you kind of just get new straps and then uh, you still have your bag in the meantime. So there's that to talk about. Um, and then the straps themselves, um, they get sewn on right here, whereas this, they get snapped on. So that's the difference. The other thing I noticed that, that uh, that's really neat with the Legend is that it comes with this elasticated piece right here. And I think that's a really cool piece because you can just kind of like tidy up your straps like this and put it under the elasticated piece. Whereas uh, the pound bag, um, I don't think it really came with that. I actually had to put these velcro on myself to kind of keep it tidy up so you can kind of see it here on the sternum strap these are the straps that i put on myself to tidy it up whereas this bag kind of comes with that moving to uh, the other side of the bag here so you got the same kind of hull pockets um, you know on both sides uh, again the hull has got this snap button i actually absolutely love that um, it so the, the other thing is that the hull itself does come with an insulated pouch. It is not a cooler pouch. It is an insulated pouch. Um, and at the time when I ordered this back in 2020, these, uh, you get to choose your colors that match the lining of the bag. However, now they only come tan, gray, or black. But either way, it is a very nice cooler. Again, with very nice touches, very nice accents. Stitching is amazing. It's got the Made in USA uh, flag that's stitched on there. It's got little little sayings in there. So I think that's a really nice touch. This is um, an adjustable divider right here. And that goes into the pouch like this. So I think it's a really nice touch that this comes with that. And again, this button, I can't get enough of this button to keep the flap down. As far as the pouch on the Legend, this side, the cooler is not here because the cooler is on the other side. However, this pocket does actually come with a divider inside of it. So let me try and show that to you. So 
here is the divider right there. So you can see where my thumb is. And that divider is not really adjustable, it's just gonna sit right there in one spot. However, with it sitting right there, you can actually accommodate really big bottles in here, which I have discovered, um, and I will show you that at the end of the video. So there's that pocket right there. Um, up here, on the, on the legend here, you don't have a pocket like the other side. You just have these little molly loops. And this is where I hook my towels because this doesn't have a D-ring on the strap. So the towels get kind of hooked up to here, among other things that get hooked up to here. And there's a little bit of a subtle squatch logo that is ironed on, um, on that side. As far as the hole goes, the pocket is identical on the outside. You got the zipper with the little accordion flap right here. And then of course the interior is that same color that, uh, that runs throughout the whole entire liner of the bag. As far as opening up the inside, still got that clamshell uh, um, on the inside, just like the other side. However, this side, instead of having pencil pockets, it's an elasticated um, pouch or pocket. This elasticated part right here, I think is a nice touch. And I think this is what separates the pound bag from the legend is that you got this pouch is an elasticated pouch right here, which I think is really nice. And it's a good size. My whole hand almost goes in there. And then as far as the rest of the pocket goes, it runs to the bottom, just like the other side. As for the legend on this side, we still have that same pouch right here. And then we have this, this big pouch. So just like the other side, um, of the Octa Hall and you the other side of the legend you got the pencil pocket holders You got one big pocket here It doesn't run as deep as this side like this is my hand and this hand is not all the way down And it's not elasticated. I think the elasticated would actually be much more um, Helpful and much more easier to get things in and out like uh, like the hall But it still has a pocket which is better than nothing and then the rest of the pocket is just one big open space all the way down and that brings us back to the front of the bag. The last thing I want to point to the front of the bag is that there is this little thing behind the pound logo for a mini pocket holder. We don't have that here on, on this legend bag, but there is a spot to put the mini and I'll go over that later on when we get into the putter pouch. Last but not least on the outside of the bag is the bottom of the bag. Both of these bags run a soft bottom. They do not have any railings, any plastic pieces or anything like that. It is a soft bottom. You got the parts of the bag that kind of hold the shape of the bag, like the, the cardboard pieces inside the bag. They're not really plastic, they're cardboard pieces, I believe, or really, really like soft, thin plastic pieces. But the bottom of the bag is all open so that it kind of, the the, uh, the disc just kind of hangs um, on the bottom of the bag. And I think that's what makes these bags really comfortable, in my opinion. The other thing I wanted to point out is the putter pockets themselves. <clears throat> so, the Legends part of the pocket opens the flap forward. The Octo Hall's part of pocket opens the flap backwards towards the back. So we're going to unzip these. And the thing about the Hall, the Octo Hall, is that the part of pocket has a snap button. The reason for that is that there is a flap on the inside pocket here that you put this flap down and you snap it in like that, and now that stays in space, in, in place. So that when you're pulling your your discs out, it, the flap won't come along with the disc. The other thing is that behind that is a zipper, and that zipper is for a water bladder. And for those of you who hike a lot and uh, do a lot of outdoor activity, I think that's a nice feature to have. I use that water bladder pouch for my rainfly. On the legend. We open up the flap here. It's a nice, there's a little bit of padding in here. Um, the hall doesn't really have any padding, but it does have these nice accent um, stitching here, which is nice. And the flap is, you know, it's 500D Cordura, so it's strong enough to, to handle anything. Um, whereas this, it's got a little bit of a soft padding on the inside. And then you got the accent stitching here to go along with the rest of the zipper um, up here, which I think is nice. Inside the putter pocket here. So the rest of the bag has this light color liner. Not sure why they went away with the light color. I think it's because putters might get it dirty. So I, I understand that, but it's black on the inside here. Um, on the hull, it's whatever liner you choose. So I like that because I get to see what's in it uh, much easier. Uh, but regardless, inside the pocket here it's all black there's a little flap in front here and that's where you kind of hide this putter pocket flap with the zipper 
and that kind of stows it away so that when you pull your putters in and out or your discs in and out it is not pulling this this flap in and out i wish they had a snap-on or velcro or something but i get i understand why they didn't do that because the velcro would cause it to not be as aesthetically pleasing as in, in the um the, there wouldn't be very much flow to uh, to the bag on the outside. However, I think if they put one here, it would be great, like a button or a, or a Velcro here, and then just Velcro it at the bottom right here. I think that would take care of the flap moving around. Um, this pocket is big enough for you to put a towel here. You can put your minis here, and I think that takes place of where the mini is located, the mini pocket is located on Dr. Hall. So instead of being in front of the legend, it's inside behind the logo itself on the inside of the putter pocket. And then just like the hall, there is a zipper right here. Open that zipper up and you have access to a pocket. You can see my hand goes all the way down. That is for the water bladder. So very identical setup between the legend and the hall. All right, let's go ahead. Then there's the main compartment of the bags themselves. Open up the flap of the Octo Hall. Again, it's got the same color liner as the rest of the bag. And I do like that about bags, having a different color liner. Um, you know, with Pound, when you order it, you got your name on here. It's very personalized and I think it's a very neat feature to have. It's got the Velcro on, this, on the flap uh, here and that Velcro will kind of line up with this Velcro on the inside. And that kind of holds the flap up just like that. And then the inside, you have plastic um, little hard inserts here to hold the bag's shape. And then you put your disc in there. As far as the legend goes, it's going to be the same similar setup. We've got the flap here. The flap is kind of a bit more, um, you know, it's got a bit, of, a bit of cushion in the inside. It's got the Velcro piece, just like the hull, except it's wider. We already talked about that. And again, it's going to go along with a Velcro piece here, just like that. And then you got plastic inserts to hold the shape of the bag. And then you fill your discs in here. All right, speaking of filling discs, let's go ahead and do that right now. All right, we got the discs in the bag. These bags are so big, it takes me a while to load them up with discs, but I got them in the bag. I got coolers in the side here, got coolers on the side. So just wanna show you what they look like with, what, with a big cooler. These are not little coolers by any means here. And uh, then I got discs in the side pockets. I got discs in the putters. I got discs in the main compartment. So let's go ahead and see how they stack up here. So first things first is that let's do from the side. Um, the pockets on the side here to hold the um, the uh, the water bottles. Uh, obviously, we talked about how this this is a little bit shorter, lower than the Legends pocket. So the bottle gets eaten by the Legend pocket compared to the Octa Hall pocket. That doesn't mean the Octa Hall pocket doesn't hold it well. It holds it very well. It holds most of it. So if I pull the bottle out, you can see right there. It's got enough um, juice or enough space to hold these big bottle. And then to be fair, this bottle is kind of big. We can go ahead and flip it. So you can see here. There. This bottle fits perfect in this um, in this hall pocket with the insulated pouch. So there you go. So if you if you want to use whichever bag you have, you can buy a shorter bottle, but the width of it is a width of the diameter of the bottles or the diameter of a Nalgene bottle and they both accommodate very well. This one just kind of is taller, so it's going to accommodate any size bottle that are tall much a little bit better than the actual hall. But they still work very well. Okay. Um, what's nice about these pockets is that you can remove the insulated pocket to put more discs. Same can be said for the legend. You can move the divider here because it's just Velcro. Move that out and then you can use it for more discs. But I just want to show you what they look like with the bottles on the inside. Right now the bag I have stuffed with clothes so that it kind of bulges out a little bit so you can see how it looks if you were to have normal things in there during a round so that you can see how the bottles look. But with it bulging out, with it, with it stuffed, I mean there's still more room in each pocket. I just didn't stuff it to the rim but just enough towards the bottom so you can see how they look on the side. All right, and then on the other side of the pocket, I try to keep it the same, are um, discs. And um, we're going to start with the main compartment and then we're going to go to the side. So I just want to show you from the side view what it looks like with the disc in. Uh, obviously, the Octo Hall, some of it is sticking out. 
which might be a little bit easier for some people because then you can just pull it out. Um, whereas this is kind of just sits right flush with the pocket. It's kind of, you know, kind of sunken in there. So it's kind of hidden a little bit compared to Dr. Hall. All right, as far as disc capacity goes, there's a little slight difference that I want to point out uh, with these two bags. So starting with the putter pouch at the top of the hall, there are five putters in each one. So I put the same amount of disc, 19 down here in the main compartment, 19 in the main compartment here, five putters here, five putters here. All right, uh, to be fair, this one has a zone in it, but I'm gonna show you something really quick here. Five putters in the octo hall itself, it's a little bit of a little bit of a fight to get it in and out okay just a little bit of a fight not much but a little bit of a fight and again they're all putters these are all AVRs with a challenger in here so they're all you know good size deep putters not flat by any means but it will do the job it will fit I personally carry only four when I use Octo Hall because this is how easy it comes out and that's how I like it some people are okay fighting with this you know putting your finger in here and trying to stuff it back in fine that's how you want to do that's fine over time it'll wear down over time you can get to five to fit perfectly fine for me right now four is perfect and i like the looseness of the four but it can accommodate five the legends pocket on the other hand you got five in here but look at this i am going to stuff more in here so now it's got six and i'm able to so at six it's kind of a little bit of a fight just like that that pocket a little bit of a struggle just like that pocket, but you can accommodate just a little, just one more flat, flatter um, putter on this side. Again, these are all putters. These are all P2s, very similar to the AVRs. And we got a, um, a Z Fierce here and a Challenger that I just stole from that side and a Zone. So, you know, it's kind of a combination. This bag is right now set up for winter. So it's got all the discs that I use. So that's why it's got the Zone in here. Um, so anyway, so there you go. They both can accommodate five. This one's a little tight, but you, but you can get five in there. This one, not so tight. You can get six in here, and that's when it starts to get tight. One thing, the one thing I want to note is that on this side, the, um, the pocket here, the flap itself can be basically snapped down with the button so it doesn't move, which I like. This one, there's a little bit of a struggle because the flap right here is, doesn't get snapped down. So sometimes when you pull it out and you put the disc back in, this is what happens. This little flap right here that holds the, 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 pop, the um, flap, the inside flap, sometimes you get caught on that with the disc. And it's kind of annoying. I don't like that about this bag. So what I have to do is take the disc that I'm using, put it in between two other discs and push it down in order for it to kind of fit in there. But the pocket is big and it's nice. You can fit other things in here, which is nice. That little flap, I wish they just find a way to keep it closed while I'm using it as a putter pouch. So I think that's the difference between these two and the putter. As far as uh, main compartment goes, there's 19 discs on here and 19 discs over here. 19 discs. So what happens when I put my finger in here? I kind of have to push my finger in here to pull a disc out. So if I do the one up front, a little bit of a struggle, okay? So I have a combination of distance drivers, fairway drivers, and putters in this pot, pot, um, main compartment. Mostly uh, distance drivers, fairway drivers, um, some mid ranges, and one putter. So it should be the same. I have more putters in this main compartment than I do in here. And so it, it still accommodates 19 on both backs. So it doesn't even matter. Um, I believe when the manufacturer says 20 plus in main compartment and all that jazz, I think they mean just drivers. I don't carry just drivers. I carry more fairway drivers and mid ranges and putters than I do distance drivers. So that's why I've set up the bag the way that most, I think most people um, use it for. Um, so again, trying to get a disc out, you gotta kind of put my push, push a finger in here and pull it out. This bottom part is a little bit taller than this side. And I think it's, uh, and then of course this is wider the opening. So I think, on the Legend, 19 discs, and I can get the disc in and out much easier than I can on the actual hull at 19 discs. If I take a disc out and go down to 18, now it's beautiful in the actual hull. Look how loose this is. This is super nice. 19 discs over here, super nice. If I take that disc and I put it over here to 20 and see what happens. Now we're getting tight. Now I have to fight, just like I did with Octo Hall when it had 19 discs. So at 20 discs down here, 
with a combination of fairway drivers, mid ranges, and putters, I think for me, 19 is perfect. 20 is pushing it because I don't like to have to fight to get my disc out. I love this looseness. And I've used it. This is a little bit um, lower than this, but it's, it doesn't fall out at all. And this wide opening does not fall out at all. I've used this with this 19 disc setup and it works perfect. And then last but not least, we got to go to the side where the other discs are right here. So the, right now there are one, two, three, four, five, six discs in this pocket. And there are one, two, three, four, five, six discs in this pocket. So let me show you what the six discs look like. If I were to, again, I have to put my thumb in here to get it out and then putting it back in. But you put the fine between the discs to put the back, put it back in. If you try to put it in the front, it kind of does this. Try to put it in the back, it kind of, you know, you can do it towards the, the pocket, which is nice. So there's that side. On this side, it's kind of similar. There's a little bit of a, a friction getting the disc out. So they can accommodate six discs for sure, but there's a little bit of a friction. So if just go to five, now we're, now we're talking like, okay, look at this. I can just get whatever disc I want. And the same thing can be said for the octave hall pocket, okay? Like this is, so six discs, all right? Six discs maximum. I would say 20 maximum on the uh, legend and then 19 maximum on the hall in the main compartment so then um, if you were to add up all the discs that you could potentially put between both pockets and use a water bladder instead of the water bottles so you're looking at the legend itself six discs six discs that's 12 discs plus two five up here comfortably six maximum so 12 12 plus 6 up here is 18 discs, plus 20 maximum here, you're looking at 38 discs. And that doesn't include this flap right here, which I have not put anything in. Let me go ahead and do that right now. This flap right up here can accommodate two more discs. Is that going to hinder pulling this out? Uh, a little bit. So, you know, if you put one disc, there, it's a little bit better. But if you want to maximize it, that's 40 discs right there. So you've got six, 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 18, plus 20 is 38, plus two right here is 40 discs. And it fits comfortably. Like it, it's, you know, it does its job. Octo hole on the other hand, if you choose, if you opt not to get the flap right here, um, plus you can't really put a disc here because the, the, the zipper causes the opening to be not as wide for a disc to go through. I've tried it. I have other bags that do this, uh, that have a zipper pocket right here and the disc won't really fit in there. So, you know, you're, you're maxing out at 19 max here. In my opinion, you can try fit 20 if you want to. So 19 plus six and six. So that is 12 plus 19, um, which is, um, 31, 31 plus let's say two, five here so that's 36 discs so we're maxing out 36 discs if you want to put one in here one more in here fine let's call it 30 um, so let's see that's 20 plus uh, 12 is 32 plus 2 3 5 so 37 so 36 to 37 discs it's still a lot of discs like most people won't carry this many discs that doesn't include what you can put in here you know if you want to put more discs in here then, then this, this bag is gonna go to like probably 45 discs on this bag. But you're looking at 36, 37 discs here, and you're looking at 40 discs here. 40 to, 40 to 41, 42 discs here. So 40 plus discs, as advertised by the legend, it does hold up to that. This one holds 30, 30 plus discs, 35 plus discs. As advertised by Pound, it does do that. So they both do what they were set out to do. However, at the end of the day, this bag carries more discs than this bag, or it can. It has the capacity to carry more discs than the Octo Hall at a very comfortable, um, you know, functional pace, basically. You know, it's, it's very functional in terms of getting the discs out. So it does its job. So that's my final comparison. Um, so yeah, so that's what I wanted to show you guys how, how they, they stack up. As far as lightweight goes, this is a very light bag. I already took the weight at the beginning of the video. Once you put it on, it is super light and I, uh, I absolutely love how light this bag is. This bag's slightly heavier, but it's got nice zippers. And speaking of the zippers, these zippers on the Octo Hall, on the pound bag, are, they're sturdy very high quality zippers they're water resistant if anything um and they're they're very high quality and they are one of the best zippers i've used on the market for equipment however the legend itself the zippers are not as sturdy they're not as um 
high like thickness, uh, thick compared to the actual hull. But they are smooth. They are smooth. So we're gonna go ahead and do that right now. We're gonna go ahead and show you the zipper pull challenge. Okay, ready? So this one pulls down, so that's not fair. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Okay, ready? Yeah. So it is very smooth on the legend, the zippers, compared to the actual hull. But the actual hull has very, very high quality zi zippers. These are, um, they're Wakiki zippers on the legend as well. Um, they are water resistant, although I don't think they're as water resistant as the actual hull because I can see the gaps in between um, the, um, the seal here when you close it up compared to the actual hull, everything is seal. Uh, there's very little gap when you close the bag compared to the legend. All right, that's all I wanted to talk. All right, the last thing I want to talk about is the pricing on these bags. So, first off, the Octo Hall does have a Rainfly available. It is an additional cost. The Rainfly, when I uh, believe my girlfriend purchased this for me, and she said it was seventy-five dollars plus five dollars shipping, so that's eighty dollars for the Rainfly. It's a very high-quality Rainfly. Okay, so that's first and foremost. The Octo Hall, as of this, uh, the recording, it is um, custom program, so it starts at $530. And then if you add the extra $20 here, it's $550. If you add the Rainfly, it's another additional $80. So you're looking at $610. And shipping was $25 to my door, so $635 for this bag. Customize and everything. The Legend, on the other hand, um, it is $259. When you pre-order it, uh, the pre-order has ended, but during pre-order, I paid $225, plus I believe, um, I wanna say $25 or $30 shipping. Um, so overall, it was about $250 total for this bag shipped to my door. However, there is no Rainfly available for this bag at least not as of this morning when I checked Legend um, Squatch's website. Uh, so right now there's no Rainfly available for it, but for those of you who have a pound bag or want to get a pound Rainfly, this Octo Hall Rainfly will fit this bag, the Legend. So it's an expensive Rainfly, but then you're gonna put this bag over $300. It's still two to $300 cheaper than the Octo Hall. The Legend only comes two colorways, charcoal with salmon, which is what you see here. In person, it's more charcoal and orange. It also comes with a uh, forest green sage looking color with orange. I have not seen that in person, so I can't comment on how it looks in person. I personally like this particular color in person. Um, on the pictures uh, at Squatch's website, it looks more blue, like navy blue, but the description does say charcoal and salmon. I really like this color in person. I think it's a dark, a very nice dark look, in my opinion. So those are the difference in prices. You have a five to five to six hundred dollar bag over here if you deck it all out without the options. You have about a two hundred and fifty dollar bag over here. After the pre-order, the price has gone up to two hundred and fifty nine dollars and ninety nine cents plus um, taxes were applicable and shipping. So you're looking at um, less than a three hundred dollar bag that carries slightly more discs than this bag, but this bag comes with loads of luxury options in terms of quality, in terms of fit and finish, in terms of awesome rainfly. Um, so there's there's your difference in price. Also, I believe the haul loops are the same size. Uh, what I noticed was that the haul loop on this bag, they just have it sewn into the straps. So I think the haul loop is the same size. It's just this one on the haul, on the actual haul by pound, it's a little bit higher than the uh, the legend. Um, the stitching quality, I personally think that the pound beats the legend uh, in terms of stitching quality. Uh, the reason why I say that is because there's some fabric fraying already that I've, I've noticed, and I've only had it out for a couple rounds. And then um, the stitching on the side here, um, there's already like you know, there's like thread sticking out. It's not completely uh, you know refined uh, worksmanship compared to the pound. So there's that. Um, as far as long-term durability, I won't know until I use this bag. 
And um, once that happens, I'll give you an update. But by then, I'm pretty sure Squatch is going to have a bunch of other bags out. I hope this helps you guys. I hope you guys have a good holiday. It is Black Friday. I wanted to get this video out for you guys um, so that those of you who are shopping, who are looking to get a bag for Christmas for you, yourself, um, anyone in your family, your friends, whatever, um, I just wanted to see, show you guys what two really awesome bags uh, look like when they are compared and contrast against one another. All right, this is Team Redisk. I will see you guys in the next video.